Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. That card just fully flipped out for your weekly reading. Oh, I love it. King of Crystals, Courage and Commitment. This is the King of Pentacles. So I think there could be opportunities around success, wealth, money, or something that you need on the material resource level. There could be somebody very generous around or you might be feeling more generous. But the King of Crystals, courage and commitment, there's something that might arise here that it's about having the courage to step into the commitment that's coming through. So, wow, let's pull an affirmation card for you, Cancer. And Cancer, just letting you know that your 2023 yearly forecasts are out. And I only just finished them this week, but a very comprehensive view of what's coming in for you with tarot and astrology. So if you're interested in finding out what's coming in for you this year, the link for that is in the description box below. We have three affirmation cards. I trust the process of life. Interesting. There is a rhythm and flow to life and I am part of it. Life supports me and brings to me only good and positive experiences. I trust the process of life to bring me my highest good. So yeah, this sense of you're like the tiger. So you're like the tiger here, finding the courage to step into and commit to what's on offer. But it really is a question of trust as well. And maybe trusting that this is the right path for you, the right choice, trusting yourself as well. We've got life supports me. Okay, I trust the process of life and life supports me. Life created me to be fulfilled. I trust life and life is always there at every turn. I am safe. We're getting a few similar themes happening here, Cancer. So perhaps uh, if you have been worried or struggling with any kind of material resource as well, um, there's potentially something coming in that the universe wants you to trust that, um, yeah, interesting. And it says, I turn every experience into an opportunity. Okay, each problem has a solution. All experiences are opportunities for me to learn and grow. I am safe. Again, you keep getting that I am safe and that there's an opportunity to learn and grow. It's requiring a little bit of courage and bravery and to trust the process. But the experience, whatever it is that you're experiencing at the moment when it comes to material resources, there is an opportunity to turn this experience into an opportunity. So, yeah, interesting. There's an interesting opportunity coming in that might be a bit of a challenge to step into it, but nonetheless it may be um, promising something on a material resource realm. So I think there's a cautious approach to this, which I actually think is good i actually think that's a, a good approach to be taking here um, very powerful um, animal the tiger that you're presenting as so this could even be a powerful opportunity that comes through let's look at the story of the week here it is the ace of pentacles absolutely yeah an opportunity here that's coming in especially around money home health um, and the seven of wands this can get you in a better position it really can or help you kind of propel out of a, a situation the King of Cups is coming in. This is a Scorpio energy. So, but the King of Water, you know, it's taking action with how you're feeling about something or someone. It could be quite an intense focus as well that comes in. The Hanged Man. And it really is a, having the patience to kind of look at this from a whole heap of different angles and gain a new perspective. And the Eight of Cups, yeah, you're walking away from old energies, detaching from things that no longer fulfill you. And it's a sense that part of this opportunity that presents itself is leading towards some kind of fulfillment here. But yeah, I get this with the Two of Swords. There's a hesitation about it, about making a decision or stepping into it. So yeah, it really is this kind of question of, do I trust my intuition? Do I trust my rational mind? What's going on here? Where? How do I trust? What do I do? And so, yeah, the King of Cups is interesting. Like they bring me to that right in the center because this is uh, your sign. You know, it's taking action uh, and what, how you're being seen and how you're emotionally being seen in the world. And the King of Cups has taken, uh, you know, it's found concrete stable ground amid some drama amid some emotional turmoil so it kind of feels very emotionally in control of the situation somebody or you is feeling this way and the king of cups is also very good at managing emotions but also managing money so we've got scorpio and taurus coming in here with the king of crystals which is the king of pentacles and the king of cups so it's very much i think a lot to do with 
uh, issues around paying things on time or having enough resources and managing that and how, yeah, it, it can also, I, it can be emotional, but I do feel like with all the pentacles coming in, um, I mean, yeah, the, there's an opportunity here to nurture a new cycle um, to there's a or to step into a new cycle around this, but it is requiring this uh, taking action with how you're feeling with the Eight of Cups, and it's kind of like you know with the Eight of Cups, it's this sense of realizing that from this gained perspective and awakening and enlightenment with the Hanged Man that perhaps you've tasted all all the cups and something just isn't feeling right. Um, it's dissatisfying the situation you're finding yourself in and so it's emotionally detaching and going and searching for, for that for that fulfillment so it really does feel like there's an opportunity to um, turn an experience that is not feeling great or is where there's something that you want to propel yourself and get it yourself in a much better position here either financially or emotionally and you're able to do that here through managing the situation plus also gaining invaluable insight. So the hanged man energy is patience because I can see that there really is this um, indecision or hesitation. Maybe you have to consider somebody else. Maybe you're, uh, there's codependency issues or you have to, you've been over considering somebody else and you really need to kind of work out what's right for you in the situation as well. But it's just a, a sense that you can work it through through patience, through letting it kind of um, sit with this energy and process this energy and gain that new perspective that can really help you know how you want to respond emotionally to this situation and manage that. So let's pull and, but it does feel like, you know, there is a really good opportunity that lies in front of you as well. So I think that some of this is processing the reasons why you wouldn't want to be doing it is it because you want to feel safe is this pushing you out of a safety zone so it, you might be considering that sort of stuff as well that might be um, something a consideration around this but i feel like you're taking a good look at this opportunity here which is actually good there are way too many cards there cancer i want to reshuffle so let's see let's see animal energy for cancer what is the animal energy coming in for cancer okay we got one we've got one let's see oh the gazelle i love it okay i love this oh my goodness as i'm looking out i can see this amazing eagle flying out my wind i can see it out my window it's like right there you can't see it i'm re really sorry about this but the message from spirit coming in really high getting that higher perspective that vantage point definitely could be really important with this eagle hovering around but the gazelle is very much saying it's time to take a rest take a break uh, it's the gazelle the sun is naturally setting on a situation and there's naturally something beginning it's the the sun is setting so it's kind of like it's a natural ending it's the the time and a natural beginning you know the sun does rise again so understanding things end and things begin and these are natural cycles in your life but what the gazelle is doing ha is having a nice rest because there's no lions around nothing scary <laughs> interesting despite the fact that you're you know we've got the tiger there so it's feeling safe uh, and through this process of feeling safe, it's allowing a situation to end that needs to end. So that could actually be part of the opportunity and to let a new situation grow that needs to grow. So it really is about just going with the flow with the cycles of life as well. And um, yeah, there's a pair of e eagles now that have come, come in. So it may be that there are people around as well and hovering around quite literally that could help you or could, might be going through similar things. It might be people that um, you might go, oh, you're, you're going through that too. So I, I think that it's a, you can help. So there's people around, helpful people around that you might be able to connect to that can help you in this situation or help you work through a situation here as well, Cancer. But yeah, there's a real opportunity to turn an experience into an opportunity here. And uh, I think it's really connected a lot to do with what it is that you need. 
So that's it, Cancer. That's your reading for the week. Thank you so much for joining me. Just a reminder that your 2023 yearly forecasts are out and the link for that is in the description box below if you're curious to know what's coming in for you in 2023, major energies. And please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments and all of those things help YouTube know that you appreciate this channel, you support the content and helps the channel grow. So best, be, I can't speak cancer, best wishes for the holiday season and take care.